okay then, I am officially uber excited. Today is Thursday, the 4th of November, 5th of November, 5th of November, and uh, I've just come back from London, I had the health digest today, so I was having my final kind of checkup and stuff on my neck, and the news is, well, I might not be able to play rugby again, but hey, I can ride bikes, that's the important thing, and I'm okay. That's the exciting part. No, this is the exciting part. Street bike phoned me up and said, Hi, mate, we've got in a race up Bika Yamaha R1. Would you like to come and try it? I was like, hmm, let me think. I'm washing my nasal hair. I'm going to have a manicure. I'm going to see if I can solve world hunger. Oh, yeah, I think I'll take you up on that offer. So, I'm going to take back the SV650S, which has been here for ages. And uh, it's a nice little bike. Get some onboard footage of this quickly. And then, I'm going to get Jason to talk through this incredible R1. Or whoever's there, maybe Gary or Alex. And we'll be taking that out for a ride. Rock on. So, here we are at Street Bike, look at this, Yamaha R1, from the reps, not the Rossi replica, I got a little bit confused about that, it's actually from the rep himself, I've got this till Saturday, now normally I'd do a big tech spec to talk through features and benefits, we're going to save it to Saturday, because everyone here who's ridden it has just been gunning about how incredible it is, so I, my friends, I'm just going to get on and ride it. One thing I'm going to do to show you though, to start with, is the sound of this thing. Have a listen to this, have a listen to this. Oh my golly gosh, I'm going on this thing now. Oh my god, what a machine, I love its look, 
I know a lot of people hate that bug eyes, but to me it looks like sitting out of uh, Independence Day. The alien. Look at it. And yeah, listen to it. Put my helmet to fall off, look. Is that any better sound? So, first impressions, turn this off so uh, you can actually hear me. Well, I tried it in all three power modes, standard, A and B, giving it a bit of a blip of both on the motorway and then uh, going into B when it started chucking it down. Took it around town, took it into some really dodgy back streets where it's just loads of traffic and commuting and... Wow, I don't think I've ever ridden anything like it. We might have a contender for my new favourite motorbike. That power delivery, because of that cross-plane crank, is like nothing you've ever ridden before. It's so immediate. And when I put it into the A mode as well, it's just going to shorten the throttle response time, so it's just even more ridiculous. Jeez, that's incredible. And yet, the suspension's really forgiving as well. It might not be as tight as some people would like, you know, for a track bike. Obviously, you can tighten that up. But I found it just going through town. It, the bolt, the, you know, the wheels were moving. The bike was staying still. I mean, it felt really, really comfortable. And <coughs> it's kind of strange. You, you don't think there's any engine braking, but that's because it, like, revs so highly, even in first gear. When you get into it about 70, so, you know, when you let the, end, uh, the gear out, the clutch out even, it put into gear, you don't get the back wheel sliding. It's just smooth. That's probably the key word, smooth. And then ridiculously powerful. You just twist on the right and it just goes in that noise. Oh. You know what? I've got some amazing footage of this and hopefully you get all the sound for the most well. I was trying to do some talking through on the commentary as well. Now I've got the camera set up a little bit differently. Honestly, when I finish work tomorrow, I'm taking this out forever. Unbelievable. Yamaha 101, baby. Woo!